Hello world, um, I'm back with, I'd say another dev vlog update, but I think I deleted all the other ones, so this might be the first. I apologise if I rush through this, I've just bought a new Xbox and a bunch of crap to go with it, so I can grind out Destiny, and therefore I've been rushing this out, I've been working for quite a while. Anyway, so I've decided to actually start doing proper dev vlogs now, so people who are interested in the uh, progress of the game can just check in whenever. Also... To make them not too boring or make them at least somewhat useful i'm gonna put them with tutorials uh but yeah but without, without any further ado there we go sorry if i'm really tired so far all i've done is mainly camera work a bit of the player and a lot of the background stuff so i'm pretty happy with the background as you can see here i've done a uh, not a sky dome but like a sky cylinder sort of thing and i've written a quick shader for it i just made that in blender and a quick shader for it if you're interested, I'll get that up. It was really straightforward. It was just two textures. So one for the main overall texture, which was this, and one for the detail, which was just tiled over that. And they're just multiplied together along with uh, some color. And then I just added a base color to brighten up a bit. And overall, I'm pretty happy with the result. The other things we have are instead of just random sort of noise a bit more defined nebulas so we've got like four of them which i've just fixed in place they were spawning randomly but decided to put them in place that i knew where they were going to be and yeah i think it looks quite nice so i've got just various colors and they're quite straightforward everything else is just a particle system so we have like start colors they, they basically everything in this scene just has a massive lifetime and then a really slow color of a lifetime so they sort of gradually come in and out so you don't really notice and we have a star field and we have big stars see these blue ones and a couple of like red reddish ones eh, reddish ones and as you saw there shooting stars so we have just randomly going here and there and yeah just cool cool things like that i, I thought it makes it makes it look quite interesting so it's not just such a boring background as for the actual mechanics, we've got the the player in, so you can move left and right. You can move left and right, and space to shoot, or on uh, on mobile, be left and right, and then press both to shoot. I'll have to make that clear at some point. No one ever guessed that. And then you click on the central planet to zoom in, and you have all the upgrades and whatnot. So you can upgrade at different spots in your world. Obviously, all these are placeholders. So yeah, you can see each one. Right now, they're just little weird obelisk things. I'm quite happy with the camera movement. It took a while. I'll probably put in how I did the the camera stuff. And I'll, I'll probably make a full tutorial on the actual site because it was quite long to do. Uh, yeah, I won't go into it now. I'll go, I'll go into it in text. And we've also got some satellites like the former, which will end up build, building all these upgrades in the world. We've got the reactor, which will be like a shield. We'll have two. Uh, the arc, which is going to be our own mechanic for um, how uh, what do you, you get like angels or something in that adventure capitalist game? Every or like white orbs in um, Zombie Idol because it's an idol game. I, I probably should have opened with that. Um, so yeah, so the arc is going to be like export uh, transport citizens to the new world, and then it'll sort of reset everything. But you'll get like a fixed bonus. And you'll be able to unlock other stuff, you know, we'll get into all that. And then a shipyard if you want to make more ships. And also you can upgrade the ship itself. You may have seen that at the bottom is uh, empty. So I'll need to actually fix that. I took it off to save on memory, but uh, yeah, you can notice it. So yeah, that's pretty much all I've done so far. So not a lot of progress, but I don't know. I spent, I spent way too long perfecting it. That's another issue that I and I'm sure many others have. I'm quite happy with the stars. They look pretty cool. I might have to change these dotted lines. They... Because I feel like after a while, a lot of stuff will get too cluttered. Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, so yeah, that's all I've done so far. Uh, five minute video, that's good. Uh, if you want to learn how to do any of this stuff, feel free to message me on well, wherever, you, <laughs> wherever you see this. I will go into the camera, but that's about it. Nothing else is that complicated. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. These just go around on like a random... Uh, rot rotate around function, rotate around the center. This just rotates on its pivot, and it's all relatively straightforward. I haven't got into it. I haven't got into any um, complex mechanics just yet. 
mainly the camera was difficult because it used to just go straight through but as you can see it sort of goes around the earth now like it'll never go through the earth i, I said immediately as it goes through the earth but mo for the most part it'll um it'll sort of orbit around around the earth uh so yeah if you want to see how that's done check out the site as for the future of this channel i may or may not uh bring it back to how the old channel was where i just put up whatever including like gameplays and um readings or whatever i waste my time on if i do that and you're just interested in uh progress updates and tutorials and all that do feel free to subscribe on the website there's loads of different categories to what you're interested in so if you, if you just want tutorials you can just subscribe to that or like i'm gonna do time lapses next the next couple of videos will be some time lapses of uh, modeling all these new upgrades and structures so if you're just interested in that kind of thing you can subscribe to that and yeah that's all i've got to ramble about so i hope you enjoyed and i hope the tutorial in this site actually provides some sort of help so cheers <laughs>